you today. Hopefully you having a good week. Now, as promised, this is part two, by the way. As promised, um, I, you know, I was talking about cactus before, and I told you I would come and show you how I prepare a cactus sandwich. Um, I'll show you the result in part three. So you just click to part three to see the result of what I've made. Now, the ingredients you're going to need is, you're going to need one cactus, and you're going to need some carrots. I chopped them up already, so, but I'm going to uh, puree them in here. You want a blender, or whatever blender you want to use. You don't have to use this particular blender, you can use whatever blender you want. Um, you're going to need some papaya. And when it looks like this, it's really, really ripe. But if it's any darker than, well, if, if it doesn't have this yellow on it, that means that it's not ripe. But it's ripe. It should look like that inside. Okay. And I always have like a little bag with me. That's for, you know, when I get ready to crack the egg, you need one egg. You can use two eggs if you're doing more hamburgers than this. But I'm doing just one big hamburger. Um, you need two slices of bread. And you need a spoon. You need a plate. You probably want to have another plate for whatever. For all the ingredients. Then I have two sets of knives. Um, if you want to use a little knife like this. Uh, or a pear knife to get all the thorns off of the cactus. You can do that. But I'm going to use this big knife because this is the one that's working for me. So, if the pear knife doesn't work for you, then use, you know, a knife that does work for you. And this is the one that's working for me. And you also want some ground beef or you can get sausage. You can use uh, turkey. You can use uh, chicken. You can grind up some chicken and do chicken. Whatever meat you that you would like to use. You can even use veal if you want to. Okay, now the grill, I'm using the George Foreman grill to grill it. As you can see, it's George Foreman. Um, and the grease is going to come out here to get rid of the fat. So, and also mustard if you want to put mustard on your sandwich or you want to put uh, mayonnaise, either one. But um, the mustard. You can also use it inside the meat. It gives it a little flavor. Okay, let's get started. What I'm going to do first is the hard part, which is this, uh, taking off the thorns of the cactus. And the way you do that is... stuff out the way. You just use your cutting board and you just go across, just like that. You can kind of see why I'm using the big one, the, the sharper knife, a large knife, because it gets, gets down in there and gets all the thorns off. And you're going to see why I'm using a small knife as well. So you might want to have two knives, depending on how sharp it is. I just feel like that other knife is not sharp. It's just, somehow it's just not sharp. sharp and also I forgot, uh, you want to put some oil on the um, grill pan here so it can be already hot when you get ready to use it. But you don't want to put that oil until you get ready to grill. It's up to you what you want to do there. But as you can see, I've taken all the thorns off. See, there's still one or two thorns there, but you want to get all of that off. You want it to look clean like this. And you're going to see some stuff come out. That's the, the um, sap. And sap comes out when you rub it like that, when you scrape it like that. The sap just automatically comes out. And that's okay. Just keep going. And then you turn it over and do the same thing. And as you can see, see the sap? The sap is coming out. That's A-OK. -okay. Just um, You just rinse that off if you want to. If you don't like it or whatever. Now, 
now I'm going to get ready to use the small knife because there's little bitty thorns around here that we have to get. And also you want to cut this off and it should look like that. You want to cut it off, put it to the side. Use my little baggie. I always have a little trash bag nearby. Okay. And then you want to go around just like this. I'm cutting it off, but you don't have to. You can do it whatever way you want to, but I usually cut it off all the way around like this. And now it opens it up a little bit. See? Now you can see the cactus. This is the part that is really, really good for you. And this is the part that when you boil, uh, you'll see the sap come out of here. You can boil this. You can... Um, do it on the grill you can do whatever you want but I'm showing you today how to grill it okay but you want to get all those black thorns off because you don't want that to get in your system some people eat it but I don't okay now you look at it and see if there's any more thorns on it. It looks like it's another one right there. So we're going to have to do some more work. All right? Okay. You might also want to have a, a rag by so you won't have to stop to wipe the um, sap off. Okay. Now. I'm going to get those little bitty thorns that I saw off. And you just keep uh, going until it goes off. That's all you want to do. And before you do all of this, make sure you wash and clean. I did this, I did that already, so, so it didn't take up too much time. But um, you do want to wash and clean this really good because it comes with dirt when it first comes out of the supermarket okay it's all off and now well actually there's a few more pieces on here that I don't like so you just keep on going it takes a little while it takes about five minutes to just go around here and get all of these little black brown thorns off but once you get them off then you're all set okay now i'm going to rinse this really quick okay i'm rinsing it and now i'm going to bring it back over and now what we're going to do is cut it up however you want it to look. Now, I do long ones first. And I don't want a lot of cactus. I just want um, a few pieces. So the way I'm going to do it is just two pieces. I'm just going to do two. Well, actually four. Do, try to do four. Sometimes you have to do it yourself because it doesn't cut right sometimes. And just do it like that. That's four. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut it so you can see what it looks like when it's in strips. And you can kind of see where you can put this on the grill and grill it. And this is what it looks like when it's in strips. And when you want to boil it, you can boil it just like that. Just put it in a big pot, and I'll show you a pot you can put it in. You can put it in a pot like this, and put some water in it, and boil it for at least 45 minutes or until the sap comes out. That's what you want to do. But I'm not doing that today. So we're going to set this aside, because we're not using it. And we're going to go to the next thing, which is uh, the carrots. Okay, I've already put some water in here, so we don't need any, um, 
it's going to make it easier for it to um, chop up because sometimes these blades at the bottom don't turn right. So I found that when you put a little water in there, it helps it move along. Okay, so here's the papaya. Basically, you want to get up under there and cut, and you're cutting it off the hole. You want the hole off. See how it's coming apart there? This is the hole. This is what you want to use. And I'm going to use one piece of papaya. I'm not going to use all of it. There's still a little bit on there, so I'm going to take that out. Because if I was to put that in the blender, it's going to taste very bitter. And we don't want the bitter taste. Okay. Now, you want to cut it up a little bit. And it's okay if it splashes as long as it doesn't splash on you. I'm going to take a few carrots. And we want to puree this as much as we can. Because we're going to use a little bit of it. You don't have to use. And when you make this, you can sit this in the refrigerator for a while or the freezer and just save it for the next time. You know, you can make a whole batch and just save it for the next time and get ready to do it again. Okay, now we're going back to these. Oh, first let's put the top on. And I'm going to let it grind. I usually blend it first. Let me put these down. I don't know what it's hand. Okay. You see this? Blend. I'm putting it on blend. That's just blend it to, blending it all together. Now you want to grind. And now you want to grind a little bit more because I want this as... I want it like parade a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and grind. Yeah. Now that I've grinded it, because you don't want to taste it. Taste the, you know, you don't want it like pulp. You want it grated to the point where it is in your burger, but um, you can't tell that it's in there. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. So anyway, that's what it should look like. It looks it should look like baby food kinda. And it's liquid. It's liquid. But we're not gonna use much. We're just gonna use just enough to um, get a taste of it. And I pour it right on the meat. Now at this point, you can put um and if you don't wanna taste the uh, carrots and the papaya and all that and you just want the juice you can do that too just make sure that you use a strainer to strain you know and just and you can strain it and just have the juice if you want to do that but I like it all so and I want to get you know some vegetables off in here I put a little mustard in there to give it a taste um I'm put a little bit more of this in Now the hot sauce, you probably notice, you'll notice this in the third part. You can add hot sauce at the very end. Whatever hot sauce you want, you can put it on top. Now you just blend it in like that. And you take an egg, and this is going to make it stay together pretty much. Kind of like meatloaf, but only I'm doing a burger. And you just mix it well together. All together. Now if you want to, you can cut up some cactus and put it in here. That would be nice too. But I'm going to go ahead and start with the cactus. And just place them on there. Don't be scared. And just let this down and let it cook a little bit. I say let it cook like 
five minutes on each side if you like it really, really crispy. If you don't like it crispy, you want to do three minutes on each side and then just place it to the side and use it. Now let's go to the bread. And what I like to do is put mayonnaise on at the bottom. Or you can put mustard, you can put whatever you want. Some people like to use hummus. Or they like to use whatever you like to use at the bottom of your sandwich. You can use whatever you want. Um, you can put mustard again. This is just giving it a taste because, you know, that papaya and them carrots, <laughs> that is a mixture that most people do not like by itself. So you got to do something to make it, you know, taste like you want it to taste. While we're waiting, we're just going to keep stirring this. And getting it ready. And we just basically make a ball. You can make small balls, or you can make a huge ball. And the leftovers, again, you can just wait until... I mean, you can put it away and use it for later if you want. It's all up to you. Okay, I'm going to set this aside for just a second. There's my hand. Now, these are pretty much almost done. And what I like to do is flip them over because they've already been done. And that's how they look pretty much. As you can see, I don't like to go long with them. I just like to put a little bit Cook them just a little bit, not a lot. I don't like them real crispy. But if you like them crispy, you want to leave them longer than this. Okay. And that's pretty cooked to me. I'm going to take these off. I should be using a spatula, but I'm just taking them off like this. And now... I'm going to add a little oil because you want it to be oily when you get ready to do the burger. Three teaspoons should be enough oil on this. Now some people brush their oil on. You can do it however you want. Okay. I'm going to do one burger to show you how it goes. Now that it's on there, we're just going to put a little bit more oil. It takes about ten to fifteen minutes for this because we're on the grill doing it. And we're going to let it down and let it cook. And when it gets all the way um, completely, well, if you like yours medium rare, then, you know, you can do like 10 minutes or 15 minutes. But I like to do mine a complete, I like mine fully cooked. So, <laughs> I let it cook all the way until it is completely done. But if you like yours, you know, medium rare, that's up to you. You can, you know, do it a shorter period of time. But we're just waiting for that. And this, I just place it in the refrigerator or the freezer or whatever, freezer bags or whatever. But you mainly just want to um, put it away. You're not going to use all of it. If you want to use all of it, you can. Uh, if you have a bigger 
if you want more people, you want to do it for more people, then you put more or less however you want to do that. Now, this is the cactus, how it came out. That's how I like to cook mine. I don't cook them long, I just cook them long enough to get them, you know, um, cooked. I say five, th three to five minutes on each side, and then turn them, and then if you like them really, really tender, you know, you can do it two to three minutes on each side. But if you like it crispy, like really, really hard, then you want to do like five to six minutes maybe on each side. It's all in what you like, but I like to taste the cactus. I don't want to get the vitamins out, so that's why I just want a short period of time. As you can see, the grease and the oil and everything is coming out here, so I don't have to worry about a lot of fat in this um, in this meat. So I love this this grill for that matter. Okay, taking a little bit. But while we're waiting, let's talk about um, cactus again. Now, I want you to know that, um, again, that these strips can be cut however you want. You can cut them this way, that way, this way, that way, however way you want. Um, and also, you want to make sure that they're really bright green. And as you can see, these are green. They're really light green. You don't want dark green. Okay, so that sums up everything that you need to do whenever you want to cook cactus. And this is the cactus sandwich. Now for the results, go to uh, part three and just click over there and that will tell you the result of what happened here. Bye-bye.